Hello, let's read a story. This is The Nutty Nut Chase. The author is Katherine White, and the illustrator is Vanessa Gabon. The publisher is Scholastic. The copyright is 2004. Hickory was making rude faces at Pecan when the strangest thing happened. A shiny brown nut suddenly burst up from the ground. It wobbled and shook, wibbled and quivered, and then lay there, teasingly delicious. Wow, lunch, Pecan shouted. Wow, lunch and dinner. Hickory screeched. It's my nut, said Pecan. It's mine, snapped Hickory. Who's making that noise, shouted Badger. I'm trying to sleep. All the animals came out to see what was happening. My nut, Pecan shouted. It's mine, yelled Hickory. I saw it first. Did not, did so, bop his nose, shouted Littlest Rabbit. <gasps> Certainly not. Bopping noses doesn't solve problems, said Badger firmly. Hmm. Oh, there will be a competition, and the winner will get the nut. Ooh, I know, said Hedgehog. The prickliest wins the nut. But you're the prickliest, said Pecan and Hickory. Oh, so I am, said Hedgehog delighted. I guess I win. I get the nut. Cuddliest gets the nut, said Little Rabbit. I win. Enough, said Badger. We will have a race. First to reach the post wins. Oh! <gasps> Hooray! A race! Ooh, a race! <laughs> Everyone cheered. Blackbird whistled the start of the race. They were off. Pecan and Hickory shot ahead, but the rabbits were close behind. Hedgehog tried to run, but only managed to waddle. Hmm. In a huff, he curled himself into a ball and rolled full speed down the slope. Littlest Rabbit looked back to see a prickly ball spinning toward them. Look out, he called. Too late, flash. Hedgehog crashed through the racers like a cannonball and everyone landed in a prickly heap. Oh dear. Tutted Badger. We'll have to start again, and prickly cannonballs aren't allowed. Hedgehog snorted and sulked off. Blackbird whistled, and they were off again. Pecan and Hickory were neck and neck. My nut! <laughs> shouted Pecan trumpetly. Shouted Hickory, it's mine! I win! Suddenly, the nut began to move. It twitched and jerked, joggled and jiggled until plop! It disappeared under the ground. <gasps> it's a magic nut! Shouted Littlest Rabbit. Nutty magic! Squealed Hedgehog, racing back to see that it would have tasted magic too, said Shrew. The nut sprang up right in front of Shrew. Quick, grab it, shouted Littlest Rabbit. All the animals shot across the grass, rolling and shrieking, jumping and hopping, hanging and to each other. <laughs> shouted Hedgehog. But the nut vanished again. <laughs> That's my nose, Shrew shrieked. 
said Badger suddenly. Look. He pointed at the magic nut that had appeared at his feet. Everyone tiptoed up to it. The nut shook and quivered. The animals looked in amazement. Squealed the nut, shrieked the littlest rabbit. A talking nut? You're a talking nut, said Pecan. Pecan and Hickory bent down and pulled and hugged and wrenched at the nutshell with all their might. Out flew the nutshell, sending Pecan and Hickory rolling backwards. And there, where the nut had been, was Mole. Mole shook himself and stood up on his two tiny legs. Thanks, he said. I thought I would be stuck in that nutshell forever. Littlest Rabbit put the empty nutshell on his head. It makes a great hat, he giggled. That looked like the tastiest nut ever, Ugh, groaned Pecan and Hickory. There's plenty more where that came from, chirped Mole, and he disappeared underground. Suddenly, shiny nuts began pop, pop, pop been up all over the place. There's enough for everyone, Mole chuckled. Magic, shouted Hickory. Magic, shouted Pecan. Nutty magic, everyone shouted. Mm -hmm. And they all munched with delight. The End <laughs>